Hello folks, getting through the patron request this week. We've got another patron request. This one is for Simon Suave. Thank you, Simon, for your support. Uh, he wanted uh, Matthew Sweet's Girlfriend, which again, a little bit of a departure from what we usually do, but it's a cracking tune, so why not? Uh, there's a fair bit of solo stuff throughout, so I'm just going to teach you the rhythm part and then give you some tools that you can uh, create your own nice little noodly melodies over the top. It's quite easy because you can just stay in one pentatonic scale or blue scale and you are good to go. Now, tone. I'm using the Novo, incidentally, because um, I've seen him play one, so I thought, why? He's got great taste, hasn't he? So if we go into uh, middle position... And then we add a little bit of unobtainium dumble. You get some good stuff going on, right? So um, you probably just want a light overdrive tone and a kind of in-between sounding, you know, pickup tone for this one. And for the lead parts, I'm just stacking the kind of clon circuit before it. So we have this. That's a ludicrous amount of sustain, isn't it? <laughs> ah, all that good stuff. So we'll get into that, but let's go through the rhythm parts first. So, starting on a C sharp, and basically we're just going from this. That is pretty much it, but there's some strummy stuff in there, okay? So we have C sharp, B, F sharp, back to C sharp, okay? Now, in terms of the rhythm, we have this. So slowly you'd have. So you're gonna accent the second and fourth beats like a snare drum would, right? You know, like that. So. And so those little wax in between are just me covering all of the strings with my hand. And you get that nice, nice tone. Okay. So the muting's all coming from the left hand, okay? So, two bars of that. Down to the B. Okay, let's do that slowly. And then back up to the C sharp. And there, you know, you're going to start picking out like... So sometimes for the first beat, you could put in two eighth notes rather than one um, quarter note. Or, you know, mix it up as you wish. That plays around a couple of times. The second time around, you're going to play. to the B, okay? So that comes in on the four and. So the last bar of that second time round, slowly, would be. Then you're gonna go into this part. So to speed, it would transition like this. After the three times round. So we've got three there, then two wax. Two on the F sharp. Again you go to the C sharp early, right? So it's it's pushed there, right? Again 
there, right? It's just early each time. <laughs> the last time so that is okay pretty straightforward and then we're into the verse part now live he does mix this up a bit he doesn't really play the 12 bar bluesy bit you hear on the on the original all that stuff you know he tends to just play you know he plays I hear him hammering on a lot like that but I'm going to teach you the album version so we have Okay, that's what I hear the very first time. You can just play. Now, if you haven't played 12 bar blues before, then shame on you, but basically you're gonna play. You're gonna alternate between your third and your little finger on the sixth and the eighth fret, right? But while you're still playing the root, okay? So you're going from a fifth, basically. To that shape, right? But I'm sure you already know that. So the pattern goes. So you're alternating a bit of palm muting as well, right? So the first two are palm muted. Okay. So that's the rhythm you play first. Okay, I'm sure that makes sense. I don't need to slow that down much. And then we go. So we're going to go B, F sharp, back up to C sharp. That's two chugs. And you play most of the F sharp. And another chug. Then up to the C sharp. Again, that's on the four and. And then from the C sharp, you go back around again. So. That's the second time around. Okay, so you go from the B. That's two chugs. Another two chugs, um, either side of a, you know, a, a stab, right? And four here. Then we're into the chorus, which basically goes. So you've got F sharp, B to F sharp. Back up to C sharp. So slowly. That's what you're playing. Okay. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. Change. And change again. So you're just playing that for three. And then you go back to the F sharp. And then. Okay, back around. And you end there, right? So um, the tail end of that, we just go off into this. Right, there's one more riff I want to show you which comes in in the outro just after the drum solo and then we'll have a little look at what you can do um, solo wise over the top of it right uh, and you can use it over any of the chords in this it's pretty straightforward stuff so the other part go goes two three four <laughs> He 
ends on that C sharp, right? So that basically is this. Part of a B. But then you've got the um, sus4. With the pull off. And then you play the open B. Then you go to a partial F sharp. You don't play the root, it doesn't play the low string here. It just plays those. But he incorporates that, that open B. And then he goes to the um, C sharp. With that rhythm. And again. Pretty cool, isn't it? Now let's have a little look at the solo stuff. So essentially, with this, the any chords you, you're going to hear, right? So we're basically in the key of C sharp, right? So you can play a C sharp minor pentatonic. And I would literally use first and second position here, which is pretty much what the uh, guitar player is doing at the top. So part of the second position I would use is just this from the 14, 14, 12, 14, 12, 13, 11, 14, 11. Okay. go between the two shapes using slides or whatever and then just use whatever your favorite pentatonic riffs are you could make it bluesy and do the Have fun with it and see you again soon. Cheers!